Well, it's been a while since I've done this. It's been a while. Oh my god, who the hell is? Yeah, I know, my break didn't take as long as I thought it would, but, you know, part of me just needed some time to really think about how I wanted to run this channel and still have fun while doing it because it was just getting to a point where I was just feeling exhausted and not really up to making videos and well I just kinda got lost for a while and you know I kinda needed it you know I had other things that I was looking forward to and I got to look forward to them and have a fantastic time hence the shirt being one of the occasions where I got to see Bling 182 live for the first time this past week in Hershey Park and might I say it was uh it was a hell of a show supposed to see them back in 2017 when they were going to tour with Linkin Park that was also supposed to be in Hershey Park but 10 days before the concert is when Chester Bennington uh, took his own life and of course that show got cancelled but that would have been with Matt Skiba I got to see the popular lineup with Mark Travis and Tom DeLong. so yeah it was it was just what you thought a Blink-182 concert would be. The banter was funny, a lot of gay jokes, a lot of dick jokes, a lot of just nonsense in general, but very well meshed together are those three. And the deep cuts, I love the fact that they played some songs that they haven't played live in years. Aliens Exist, Anthem Part 2, Violence, Reckless Abandon, just to name a few. Dysentery Gary they also played live, and of course, they played the hits because, well, they had to. And even the new song, Edging, is one of the songs that I think is slowly growing on me because hearing it in a live setting, it definitely is a lot of fun. And I cannot wait for the new album that is supposedly coming out in October as well. So that was, uh, that was great. Plus the opener's White Reaper was good. And Turnstile, wow, they can really put on a show. I'll tell you that. They didn't even feel like an opener. They felt like a co-headliner. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. I will say their lead singer has a lot of energy. I don't know much from Turnstile, but they had a lot of good songs. To me, it kind of sounded like Green Day and Rage Against the Machine if they were to come together and collab somehow. Like, I don't know, just had that aggression of Rage Against the Machine but that punk feel of what early Green Day sounded like. Sometimes I get myself the creeps Sometimes my mind plays tricks on me And of course, me and my buddy hung out at Hershey Park as well, going around, riding the rides, taking the, you know, Chocolate Factory tour, all that stuff. We got those uh, fast pass bracelets so we could you know, skip the line and get on roller coasters because if we didn't get these fast passes, we probably would have only been able to get on two roller coasters with some of the wait times that we had. So, you know, one thing we learned is we're bad at planning things, but we end up figuring it out as we go along. I did have trouble with the tickets, but we got things figured out. Don't worry. We, we did okay, and we are feeling a lot better. Another highlight of that day was I actually saw Blink-182 in person. At least two of the three members, and I didn't really interact with them because you, you couldn't. I mean, they were walking around the park, I'm assuming they were going to ride some rides and stuff like that, and they had bodyguards with them, so obviously that meant that, hey, don't bother them. You can probably say, like, hey, what's up, but, you know, no pictures, no anything, and plus, I didn't even have my phone with me because my buddy and I kept our phones and our wallets in those lockers that they have there because when you're getting on roller coasters and you put whatever in those cubby holes, it's probably best not to leave your phone and wallet in those cubbies, considering my phone had the tickets on it, 
and well our wallets we kind of needed those because well let's have our driver's license our credit cards our money in them so we didn't want people you know going after those but that was kind of cool seeing Mark and Travis walk around because well I almost bumped into Travis Barker I was walking this way and I was kind of like looking at my friend talking and you know I just kind of I saw someone you know coming this way so I just kind of moved out of the way like this my buddy went the other way and as I'm walking past who I think is just this regular person, I look back and I go, That's Travis Barker! I look like Bruno Mars when he's looking back at Pete Wentz. I, I looked like that meme. I was like, Travis Barker? Wait a minute, like he was that hard to miss. And apparently we were close to them earlier as well as we were walking around the park. That just is what it is. You can believe me if you want. You can ask my friend. He was there too. We saw him and that was that. I thought that was pretty cool that, you know, to even be that close to them was not even on my mind that day. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! But anyway, enough about that. It's just, uh, yeah, time to get back into the thick of things. I'm not gonna go back to two days a week. I still feel like that is going to be too much for me. I'm gonna try every Friday, but it could be like every other Friday or something like that. Like, I'm still not sure, but I know that I want it to be Fridays. That way I can, you know, start the week with making the video, having time to edit, and have it ready by the end of the week for you in particular. But other than that, that is it. That's where I've been. That's what I've been doing. And I've just been trying to, you know, figure things out elsewise because these past couple of months have been, you know, a little, little rough and in places, but, you know, we're slowly getting back into things and, you know, feeling more confident. So that's probably, um, you know, a good thing right now. So yeah, that's it for me. Stay safe out there. And until then, I will catch you all in the next one.